Nerd Initiative just dropped their top 10 movies for the Halloween season, and I'm going to do a Did You Know countdown. So let's start with number 10, 1982's Poltergeist. Did you know? Did you know Stephen King was actually approached to write a screenplay for the film? This would be his first original screenplay not adapted for one of his novels, but in the end the parties could not agree on terms. Did you know out of all of the scenes there was only one that actually scared actress Heather O'Rourke? That scene was when she had to hold onto the headboard while everything was being sucked into the closet. Apparently the young actress just broke down in that scene and Steven Spielberg stopped everything and took her up into his arms and told her she would never have to do that again. Speaking of Carol Ann, did you know Heather O'Rourke got a chance at the role while being spotted eating her lunch at the MGM Studios commissary? Spielberg approached them and asked if Carol Ann would be able to audition. The first screen test actually didn't go well, but she was asked to return and read a scary story. After that, they wanted to test out her scream. She screamed so much she started crying, and the rest is history. Did you know real human skeletons were used in that swimming pool scene because the crew decided it would be too expensive and too much trouble to get fake ones? Actress Jo Beth Williams was not made aware of this until after shooting. Speaking of which, Williams was reluctant to get the pool because of all the electrical equipment around during filming. To get Williams to do it, Steven Spielberg agreed to get in the pool with her and shoot the scene himself. Did you know the sound effect for the beast that attacks the house at the end of the film is the same as that of the MGM Lion Roar? Did you know those were actually Steven Spielberg's hands pulling the flesh off of the paranormal investigator's face in the mirror scene? Did you know in the scene where Robbie is being strangled by the clown, he is actually being strangled? The arms got too tight and when he screamed out, I can't breathe, Spielberg and Hooper thought that he was just ad-libbing and told him to look in the camera when he said it. But eventually his face started turning purple and they had to call cut and remove those clown's arms real quick. Originally, Steven Spielberg wanted Toby Hooper to direct E.T. After declining that, Spielberg gave him the script for Poltergeist instead. Now, did you know this actually led to a controversy as to who actually directed Poltergeist? Steven Spielberg was contractually obligated not to direct another film while he was doing E.T., but most rumors and behind-the-scenes stories saw that Spielberg was really in charge of what was going on on the set of Poltergeist. And most say it was a collaborative effort. That's 1982's Poltergeist, and now you know. And don't forget to stay tuned for numbers 9 through 1 of Nerd Initiative's Top 10 Halloween Movies.